Recently, I was clearing up some of my old gaming magazines. Yes, kids. Because the internet wasn't freely accessible, we had gaming magazines. I found a number of old cheat code books. These little gems offered secrets to change our experiences with video games. Struggle to beat the game? Pop on the old god mode and waltz your way through to the end. Looking to unleash Armageddon on that annoying enemy AI? Smashing that unlimited ammo cheat. Or looking to have a laugh? Then pop on the big head mode. These were great and often added a bit more value to the video games of old, but where have they gone? Sure, new titles were a bunch of new exploits and unlocks for completing certain tasks within the game. However, these don't feel the same. They are hacks, but these will just outright get you banned. So, what happened to the classic cheat code? I'm that Take Nomad Chad, and this is the Deep Dive. The first thing we need to do is define a cheat code. Cheats were often button combinations or passwords which unlocked unusual effects in games. These effects were not part of the game's core mechanics, often breaking the gameplay experience by enhancing your character. This could give them invincibility or unlimited ammo. Sometimes it gave you access to a level selector. While this may have detracted from the challenge of the game, it often added a new layer of fun. Players could try and construct their own challenges or use these cheats to explore the game more, more freely. It expanded the scope of what the player could achieve in the game. Modern games often don't have traditional cheat codes. Often games will have unlockable extras which the player has to earn to achieve. All the other are exploits, where a player can exploit a gameplay loop to fast track a result. That's until developers patch that exploit out of the game. Million deaths are not enough for Master Raoul. But why is it that they no longer include the old school cheat codes in modern gaming? To understand this, we need to know why developers put cheats into games in the first place. No, they didn't put it into place for laughs, and sadly, it wasn't meant for you. Cheats were put in place as a debugging mechanism for developers. Removing them proved to be an issue which could cause more bugs. Also, no consoles had any patching mechanisms to remove these headers. In the early age of gaming, there was little to no way of removing these headers, so they just lived on in the code. So what happened to these cheats? Why were they just patched out of existence? After trawling the internet for answers, I came across a redditor and a game dev called Zorbathat, who shed some light on the matter. Zorba explains that modern games are written in, in higher level languages, which makes removing cheats much easier and less error prone. Second, debugging a modern game is far more difficult. In Doom you could cheerfully no clip through walls knowing that you wouldn't be breaking anything of importance. Take a look at your average Half-Life 2 level, observe all the triggers that make interesting things happen, realize just how broken it would be if you hit the, the triggers in the wrong order. He goes on to say, they really it really isn't any philosophical or design statement to be made here. It's simple engineering. Cheats were put in for engineering reasons, and those reasons no longer apply, so cheats aren't put in anymore. Essentially, there's no need for cheats to exist within a game anymore. They've become obsolete. The next question is why don't they just code cheats into games for fun? Surely they can do this, can't they? Well, they can but it's of little to no benefit for the developers to add these in. The development cycle of modern title is extremely tight as is, with studios pushing to get out a polished product to market as soon as possible. Adding in cheat codes as mentioned before could potentially be damaging for the process, potentially setting them back for a novelty. The second issue is the competitive online market with thousands of titles having some form of online multiplayer action. This could prove damaging for the experience. We regularly see players being banned for using aimbots and hacks, so why should developers add in a means of cheating in the game? While cheat codes may add a level of fun to games, it's something that would eventually wear thin after a while. Some studios may choose to add these codes in, but it's few and far between. Cheat codes have become a relic of the past. They're an obsolete novelty which we fondly remember, but never really need to fight for them to return. They too have received their final patch. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe.
I'm hoping to bring more content weekly, so don't forget to check us out on social media. Follow us on all the platforms down in the description below. Thank you so much once again.